<clears throat> hey YouTube, um, I thought I would do a unboxing, well not so much an unboxing, uh, more of a initial review of my William Optics uh, Red Cat 51. Uh, I picked it up a couple weeks ago, um, I've actually had it out already and done first light with it really really impressed with the results and I'm going to share that uh, image at the end of this uh, at the end of this video so let's go ahead and hop right into my real quick unboxing it's not really going to be anything big I already got it out of the box um, but more or less my my initial review and what my setup looks like uh, for imaging with it so here we go. We've got the William Optics soft case. So if we go ahead and open it up. Inside, you've got the Red Cat. So the Red Cat is a 250 millimeter focal length telescope. Uh, it is f4.9 and it has a 51 millimeter um, objective diameter. Uh, the cool thing about Red Cat is that they give you a batten off mask. So, so the cool thing about about that is that you get a batten off mask built into your telescope. So don't have to go searching Amazon or anything to go find a uh, a batten off mask that fits your your scope. So that's really nice. Um, so when I purchased this, I purchased the Red Cat and I purchased um, the William Optics uh, Cat Saddle in red to match um, so that I could put my guide scope on there. Um, so far, I, I really like this scope. It, uh, it's got a super wide view, wide field of view. Um, when I pair it with my, uh, my Orion G26, it's, it just looks like I'm just like, it's just, it's just really cool. The one thing that I didn't like about the case was that once I put my saddle on, uh, the, the scope wouldn't fit in the case anymore. The cutout didn't have room for the saddle. Uh, so what I had to do was I cut a piece of the foam out so that I could fit uh, the Red Cat in with the saddle so I'm not dismantling this every time I have to put it back in the case. Um, so if you see, it fits in there real nice with that cutout. There's a cutout right here. Uh, so it's real nice. Um, so yeah. Take the lens cover off. Just flip that around. And now you've got you've got your your dew shield and your um, your light shroud. Um, it's got a helical fo helical focuser. There's a tension ring here that adjusts the ease or stiffness of focusing. So once you find your focus, you can lock it down that way. That way your, your focus doesn't, uh, doesn't drop out of focus while you're imaging throughout the night. Um, another thing that this, uh, the Red Cat has is it has a field rotator on the back. So once you put your camera on, um, there are degree markings all throughout this, uh, this ring. So it's 360 degree ring markings. You just loosen that up and you can twist this to whatever, whatever degree, whatever angle you want. Um, I found that that came in really, really hand, handy when um, I imaged uh, last couple nights. Uh, 
um, and then you just lock it down just like that. So let's go ahead and go into um, so that's my my unboxing for what it is. Um, my initial review is I love the scope. It is a great scope. Uh, I got it from a Gina Astro. Um, I ordered it on a Wednesday morning and I think I got it Friday by noon. Um, it was super fast shipping. Uh, it was just 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 wonderful. I cannot stress how pleased I am, how pleased I was. And it was the first time that I ordered from a Gina Astro. Um, and I will continue to order from them um, if they have the stuff that I need. One thing that you do need to keep in mind here is that you're going to need to create the back spacing that you need so that you can um, have the correct spacing for um, the flatness. It's 55 millimeters of back spacing. The good thing about it is, is that if you have a ZWO or that type of um, of camera um, and the Orion G26 is one of those types of cameras that has a 17.5 millimeters of back focus you can use the ZWO products to uh, to create the spacing that you need um, for the correct uh, the, the correct spacing for the the, um, the back focus that you need so with that, again from Agena Astro, I ordered the um, the ZWO filter drawer so that I can replace filters easily. And in addition to that, I also ordered the 16.5 millimeter spacer. Now, what this does is this gives me the proper spacing in combination with a camera that has 17.5 uh, millimeters of, of, of uh, back focus in it. Comes with an adapter ring. Um, that way if you are using a camera that has the bigger uh, the, the M48 I believe it is M48 uh, M48 threading. Then you just put that on here, and then you have your your correct spacing for your M48 uh, camera. So if we take that off, now we are able to accept M42. So if I just put this on here. that go ahead and get my camera again this is a Orion G26 so it's a IMX the Sony IMX uh, 571 chip or 571 sensor uh, so if you put that puppy on there like that so now if you notice I, my scope is not lined up correctly, or my, my sensor is not lined up correctly, it's kind of offset. I know where my sensor is, so I can take that rotator and I can line it up like that. And the way that I, I keep my stuff oriented is front of the scope uh, screw here. So that keeps me, I'm in line. lock that down so this is my my setup that I use uh, this is my this is my train so the good thing about this is I don't have to remove uh, the thread here to get into the well to put a two inch filter in the red cat I actually have the filter drawer I can put my filter in here right there, magnets hold it in place so my filter is in my filter train. I've got my camera, the filter drawer, the spacer, 
So this right here, I believe, is 20... 16... I think this is 29 millimeters. Um, so the 29 millimeters plus the 17.5 gives me... Uh, gives me the 50 not, 55 millimeters of back focus that, back focus that I am required. Um, my guide scope, I have a 60 millimeter guide scope. So this guide scope is a 240 millimeter focal length guide scope. So it's basically identical to this. It's just a little wider. It's a 60 millimeter, so it gives me, um, so I can see stars uh, a little better. So if we Slap that on here, and it goes about right there. So I've already balanced all this stuff out, so I know approximately where where this stuff goes. Uh, and then the guide camera that I'm using is an Orion Starshoot Auto Guider, the monochrome. So we put that in there. This is my setup uh, for my 51 Red Cat. The guide scope might be a little overkill. Uh, that's what I have. Um, I don't know. It, it, it did the job perfectly the last couple nights that I was out. Uh, yeah. So, like I said, um, I really like the scope. It is a great first scope for anybody getting into astrophotography just because of the wide field, so it's very forgiving. Um, your guiding doesn't have to be spot on, but if it is, I mean, that's even better. You can get, you know, 10, 20 minute exposures if you want to. Um, but yeah, this is, so here's my setup right here. So stick around, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you, um, I actually imaged with this, this setup, uh, the last three nights um, and I was shooting the North American Nebula and the field was so wide I got the North American and the Pelican all in one frame. Just take a look at the image. I think I did I did alright with it. I'm very impressed with uh, with the Red Cat and the results that and the results that it uh, it has yielded for me to this point. I am super excited for uh, for nebula season to roll around again, so I can start shooting um, some really wide uh, wide field images. I hope you enjoyed this, um, and I hope you enjoy the image that I show at the end of the video. This image of the North American Pelican nebulas was taken over the last three nights using the Red Cat 51. I was able to get my framing precisely as I wanted it due to the Red Cat's field rotator. This image is comprised of 34 8 minute exposures for a total integration time of 4 hours and 32 minutes.